We're now joined on the Sports Mix by Spring Mills football head coach Marcus Law. Coach Law, your team wins via shutout yet again, this time over Washington, 43 to nothing to improve to 6 and 0 oh on the year. What were your thoughts about that game against Washington? Well, first and foremost, uh, I, honestly, I thought that was Washington's uh, best team they've had out here. I think Coach Ray has done a wonderful job, especially defensively. Um, early on, they, they did some things that we weren't quite ready to start showing out there. But, I mean, credit to those guys. They were physical. They blitzed hard and blitzed often there. So, And even towards the end, uh, end of the half, he did a great job of switching from his man coverage to his zone. So it was just one of those things that we really had to be more of our toes and, and kind of really take what they are giving us. Um, again, for our defense, those guys stepped up again. Um, they had us in the red zone uh, a couple times there. The guys were able to come together, a few times uh, alignment adjustments there, and then we were able to kind of um, keep things flowing the way we, we've been doing the last few weeks there. But it's one of those things, very fortunate to get in there, uh, kept guys healthy and able to get another win on our belts. Coach, uh, you mentioned some of the challenges Washington gave you, and if you just looked at the final score, you would think, well, there was no real challenge, but – Obviously, there there were a few things. Uh, yeah. How important do you think that was for your team here early in the season to face some adversity and uh, respond? That's extremely important. I mean, you to go through you know, all the games and not hitting some kind of snag or adversity, and then you start making to these games where it's it's you know life or death, and you, you don't face that adversity. You just don't know how your guys can respond to it. And so, I mean, I can sit here and point at each one of the games. Like each team has done something really well. That's kind of left us to go in halftime. I right, think, how can we make some adjustments? Can we make to, to kind of what they're trying to do to us? And so we look at each game like there's going to be some things that we need to work on, and we try to go back and fix it in game as quick as we can. And that part itself is just the practice we need as well. In the game, it was a big performance yet again from Max. Multiple touchdowns on the ground. Just tell uh, us about his game, what you liked from it, and how much he's really impacted the team this year. Yeah. Well, it's one of those things we haven't had to have Max do too much on the ground as far as running the ball the last couple of weeks. And, and it was one of those things that really kind of got our offense going um, early on in the game to kind of get some things rolling for us. Um, he's, again, he's done a great job with the read options and all that stuff, picking his time to run. And it was one of those things when he did pull the ball to run, he, he kind of capitalized on those particular situations. He also um, did a great job with the option game for us. It's something we've been kind of working on the last few weeks, and it's kind of one of those things uh, when you go into the game, are we going to hit that thing the way we've been doing it in practice? And, I mean, him and Cam and Blake did a wonderful job of keeping that pitch relationship and then those guys following it through to the end. Coach, uh, bye week for your team this week. Um, what are some things you're trying to work on and what is kind of the, pl- the plan for the bye? Well, well, the biggest thing we took gave, uh, yesterday gave those guys off just kind of get their bias back. But we're, we're looking at the next three days. We're going to get physical and get after a little bit amongst ourselves. Um, I'm special like defensive day to day. We're going to kind of look back and kind of go working on some of those small things. You know, um, often to our time throughout the game week, you know, you try to get the big pitcher and uh, get pitcher game plan in there. But it's always some of those small things you kind of wish you can slow down and go back and hit. So, I mean, it's just a prime example for us this week to kind of go back, slow it down, get some of that fundamental stuff in there, um, and so we can kind of get ready to go to the university. You mentioned university. With it being a bye week, giving you extra time to prepare for that game, will you guys do any uh, scouting of them, watch any film on university this week, or will you wait until next week and just kind of focus on some things within the program this week? Well, I think it'll be kind of split 50-50, I, I, especially today and tomorrow. Uh, we'll have an opportunity amongst our offense and defense, just really fine-tune the things that we need to see. We need to fix amongst ourselves. But at the same time, we'll go ahead and start breaking down the university game and start prepping ourselves for that piece as well. Coach, your team, again, hasn't allowed a point all season. Um, it, it's so tough, I feel like, to do that consistently, especially at high school when – you're probably getting some younger guys into the game. What do you kind of credit that to, that even when the backups are in, uh, your team just doesn't allow any points? Is that a Coach Hessen thing? Is it just uh, the depth of your program? What, what do you credit it to? 
A uh, combination of both. I mean, I think Coach Heston sets the expectation high. I mean, just like anything you do in life, you know, expectation high. You want your guys to kind of reach up and grab that. So he set that bar up there. But then you also you can look at the seniors, man. Um, they're, they're the kind of group that I can remember last year them not wanting to let the previous seniors down. And so now you're just trying to see the same effect with a younger guy, our current seniors, down as well. So everyone's trying. But, I mean, like we tell guys, at some point, people are going to score. And, and that's going to happen. And it can't be one of those things when someone scores, we sit there and have our tails turned on legs. It's part of the game, you know. Not every single game you're going to have is a shutout. So we better be ready for that counterpunch when it does happen, because it will happen. It's been absurd, though, how long it's been since it has happened. It hasn't happened all year <laughs> long. And I, I've been trying to find a time where this has happened anywhere and for how absurd it is it's basically unfindable at least from the uh, searching that i've done i don't know if you know anybody that's found anything along these lines of a uh, long list of shutout records potentially or if you've done any research but if you have do you know anything no i honestly i i haven't looked into it and i'm and probably I haven't heard the kids look, uh, talk about anything like that, which is what we want. We don't want to sit there and focus on, on that particular thing. But I honestly, I don't know. I know when I was playing high school ball, it definitely wasn't the case. So we gave up quite a few there. But, I mean, it's it's a great feature. It's great for the community. It's great for them to have some pride in some of the things that we're doing. And ultimately, that's the goal. Coach, anything else about the, uh, the bye week this week that you're hoping to see from your team? Um, I mean, honestly, the biggest thing, I want to see these guys compete. I mean, I know we don't have a game this week, but we want to compete amongst ourselves. And I think that's one of the things, even looking back into the summer, we can, we did all kinds of different competition games. I mean, we even made some silly ones up where it's just getting the kids to compete against themselves every day. And so that'll be the biggest thing I'm looking for is us getting out there and getting out to each other a little bit and, and, and trying to make each side better. All right, Coach Law, anything else? If not, we'll get to the uh... – Last fun question and let you go. Nope, that's it on that piece. All right, so last question is, in your opinion, what are the greatest strengths and weaknesses of being a football coach? Greatest strengths? Um, I definitely say having the organizational piece. And up to this year, a strength would definitely have to be able to trust your assistant coaches, trusting your admin to help you with certain things because face the fact. Um, you can't do it all, and you really can't, and you'll go down struggling if you try to do it all by yourself. Um, now, on the flip side, greatest weakness is wanting to do everything yourself. And for me, for the longest time, being an assistant coach, I've always kind of had my hand in cookie jar in everything. So it's a strength, but at the same time, it could be a weakness if you're not willing to give it up and share some of those things out with people. All right, Coach Law, thank you for the time. Appreciate it, and talk to you again next week. All right. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you.